Hello and welcome to Bay One. This is Jafal Moraxi, and today we're just going to take a quick look at some of the changes that occurred in patch version 0.6.702. The much anticipated rail cannons have arrived, along with a whole host of other very important changes. Uh, one of the most notable is that the tier system has been completely re-ramped to an exponential system so that it's now impossible to enter uh, low tier games with certain types of items. And it's also helped to flesh out that huge gap that there was in tier 8 to 10 where no one would play. Uh, matchmaking has also been addressed and there have also been a number of other new cubes actually um, added to the game. So let's just launch the game and I'll take you through some of the, you know, real changes. Um, lasers have now been changed to SMGs. Uh, SMGs are now a very rapid fire type weapon. They have a lot of fall off and lose accuracy over range. Uh, they still don't quite have the range of rail guns or plasma cannons, but they're at the moment they're the most effective weapon in the game because there's, they do just a little bit too much damage. First, let's start out with a run in the game at tier 10. This shouldn't take too long. With my existing hoverbot, which I have modified this a little bit because now it's a lot easier to actually take off weapons. One big change has been the addition of additional tiers of armor. So now you have level 0 to 10 armor. And that comes in a whole host of different colors. And when we actually get out of the this game, you'll be able to see how that works. Um, but let's just play on this a little bit first so you can see exactly what's changed about lasers. Uh, if I start firing, you'll see there's a much, much higher rate of fire. And it's a good number of, uh, unfortunately, gun beds are kind of back. Uh, but that should change as soon as they reduce the damage down a little bit. But to be honest, it's one of the most effective designs for uh, the game as it currently stands. Um, I'm actually going to scout around to the side here. We've got some support coming up. Uh, there we go, that's a pretty good one. I'm going to switch the bar because there's way too much fire power on the way And yeah, switch the bar is pretty much perfect at this point. But yeah, that's laser, or SMGs should we say, sorry. I keep mispronouncing that. Or the, should we call them the weapons formerly known as lasers? Yeah. Um, anyway, so repair times haven't been affected that much, but let's just go and take a look at the new cubes that are actually available, if I open up here. Uh, I've already unlocked all of these, uh, so let's just take a look. We've got these, which are the now the L10 armor. Uh, we've got a new grade between red and the L10s, which are these purple. Um, they've got a good amount of armor. They're only about 100 armor less. At, well, this is another change. Um, they're only about 100 armor less than uh, the L10s, and they're also a lot cheaper. Uh, you'll also see here, armor values have now been revamped. So the L10 armor has ten, you know, 1,000 HP as opposed to roughly equivalent as you go down the scale, so L7 is just under 700. It gets a lot less as you go down the tiers here, um, or the levels here, but you know, it's an interesting change and I see how it is necessary because of the rail guns. Now something that everyone is going to want to see in the action is, are the new rail guns, so let's just switch to a bot that's doing that. Uh, I've got one here which I'm actually working on improving this design. Uh, it's got a mix of different armor cubes, mostly because I don't have everything I need unlocked. I'm slowly working on changing it up to uh, a fully tier 10 bot. Uh, this is actually a helium based design, uh, mostly because of stability on the rail guns. I actually need to move the rail guns up a little bit because they cause a little bit too much swing when firing. 
Um, but overall, this is more or less a neutral buoyancy concept. So let's just get in there. And you can see, usually a flyer like that, there's no way that it would be up at tier 9. Or in previous games, this would would have been a tier 5 or 6 flyer. But with the changes, it's now certainly a tier 9 flyer. And unfortunately, it also has some of the caveats um, that come with that in the there's virtually very little armor on it and it's going to it, it's more or less a one shot kill on this thing so. uh, but I do have railguns on here so I've got four L5S railguns and one L4S um, so let's go up into the air uh, one issue I am going to have is that if there's any ground based railguns they can see me but I can't see them because they're actually able to see my silhouette in the sky uh, so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful here and oh view ranges have been much increased as well so let's see oh there's some people down here and let's charge up have very very poor accuracy you're basically not going to hit what you need to hit uh, if you're not moving then um, they're very very good um, but yeah it takes a little bit of practice and finesse to use them well uh, let's take a look at the ground here my mouse sensitivity a little bit. There we go, at least I got a kill. So yeah, it, they very much are like a sniper rifle. A lot of these bots uh, appear to be really poorly armoured because people are still trying to work out uh, why am I such a high level with such a low bot. Uh, mostly because you put one L5S thruster on there and there's no way you're going to stay low level anymore. Um, anyway, that's the basics of rail guns. I'm not going to bother with plasma cannons. They haven't changed a huge amount other than they're probably one of the lowest damage weapons in the game at the moment. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, some changes I had to make to the little friend uh, to actually make it work on this uh, new tiering system. Uh, with the thrusters that I had on it before, it was being brought into a tier 6 class and it was absolutely getting reamed. Uh, so I've had to tear down the or level down the actual weapons that are on it, as well as rebuild the front array here for the thrusters. Uh, so now I'm using 6 uh, of the L2S thrusters instead of the L4 or L3S thrusters that I had on there before. Um, I actually get a lot more thrust from this, not quite the same kind of tot speed, but there's also a lot more redundancy. Uh, so let's just run into the game with this spot and we'll see how that runs. Yeah, the reason I've got a patchwork of different armor on there is because I was, or because I was trying to work out where the issues were coming for in terms of level. Uh, so there's a lot more I can actually do in terms of armoring this up or uh, back up to a more proficient level. I think I could probably get away with having orange blocks on this now, uh, which would be a much stronger tier 3 flyer. And to be honest, tier 3 flyers, you can actually put a lot more on them now. Uh, you can put a lot of the little uh, L2S thrusters on there and get way more thrust capability as opposed to the uh, higher tier thrusters and it won't even come close to bringing you into a higher tier um, Again the problem with thrust uh, with flyers is that they can see me I can't see them while in the air So I'm probably going to get shot a lot uh, But we can see this person over here. So let's see if we can go and intercept And
yeah. See, I didn't see too well. Um, this flyer actually needs a lot of redesign enabled to work with the, in order to work with the new meta. Uh, so we'll get there eventually. Um, but for now, I probably wouldn't recommend pulling this design into a tier three match. Uh, I'm going to see what I can actually do to push it back down to uh, maybe down to tier two to make an effective tier two. Uh, vehicle um, but for now uh, there will be a video coming up later uh, with regards to that but for now that's the basic overview of the changes thank you for watching and uh, if you want to subscribe to my videos there's a link in the top right corner uh, just click subscribe and I'll see you next time goodbye